Welcome to Knitting Books Etc. My name is Cristina. On Ravelry and other social media, I am Quella63. And uh, today I'm here to uh, answer a tag. I saw Barb from the font uh, doing uh, this tag, her original tag. And uh, in the episode she said that whoever wants to answer these questions should do it. So I am here to do it. But I don't have any superhero uh, costume. The only thing remotely uh, related to uh, that are this, uh, this t-shirt and some others I have uh, which refer to one of my favorite series of all time which was called Firefly. Okay, and uh, that's why I showed you <laughs> the t-shirt at the beginning. So, uh, this tag, let me, let me find here my, the questions. Let me see if I... Uh, uh, so... Let me see... Okay, I think this is it. So, we are all special and unique. What are your unique special powers? So, I had to think a little bit about it, but I think that uh, finding humor in everyday situations also, finding humor in books I read, detecting irony and other um, funny situations, I think um, that's my ability. Sometimes even people say that they, they don't find anything funny in a certain book and I said, oh, but it was <laughs> rather funny. So I think that um, I have that tendency and in real life too. So, every superhero needs a nemesis. Name your bookish enemy. What is your kryptonite? So, presently my bookish enemy is sleepiness because I'm having trouble uh, lately sleeping at night. Uh, and uh, now, so, because of that, I am very sleepy during the day and when I try to start reading, even if it's something, not even, it's always something that interests me because if it doesn't interest me, I don't read it. Uh, but I fall asleep like this, sitting. Unfortunately, I cannot nap because when I try to, I again stay awake. Uh, and this is... This is uh, uh, unfortunate because I was the opposite. I was one of those people that would start reading a book and sometimes couldn't stop until I finished the book. So I would read the whole night uh, without falling asleep. And now it's quite different. We hope that this will pass. Okay. Um, my real kryptonite also of its cucumber. I hate it. Only saying the word gives me, I don't know, the chills. Uh, I can detect the smell of it from kind of, for example, if someone had lunch, had cucumber for lunch and I go in that house at night, I can still smell the cucumber. Um, I cannot touch it. I cannot it makes me sick whenever I, I smell. I think that the reason is that the first time I ate cucumber, it was, I remember so well, I was in Madrid and we mm. were having a late dinner because it was summer. So it was already 11 p.m. and it was dark, it was outside. Uh, and uh, so I couldn't see what I was eating. It was a kind of a salad with everything mixed. And I, I, I become very sick and I didn't know what it was. Uh, but I, the smell was horrendous for me and it still is. I, I hate it. I hate it. Okay. Never mention it again. 
if you number three if you could wish for any superpower what could it be so i have so many wishes in relation to this but i have for example i heard barb talk about money of course i would like uh, to have uh, the power that money gives to do lots and lots of stuff for example buying books uh, but that's not my uh, wish here other people mention I saw Noah from um, every one that reads it must converse I don't remember the name but I think it's like that so he mentioned time travel and time travel was one of is still one of the things that I would like to do uh, not I didn't like to live in a time but I would like to Go there and see how people lived and uh, whatever events that we know from history. I would like to see that. Uh, also, uh, I think that Leslie from the Nerdy Narrative mentioned some kind of magic. And yes, since I was a child, I wanted to have a magic wand and have some magical powers. But because they already mentioned that as well, I want to be able to um, teletransport, teletransportation, without needing any Scott or something like that. Because I would like to be able to go wherever I want immediately. To visit friends, I have friends all over the world, family too, to go to places, to see to sightseeing and even for example to go to museums because I don't like if I travel when I travel I don't like to spend my whole days inside a building but I, I, I do like to to see those things also some museums are so rich that it's too overwhelming I remember going to the Vatican and there were so many things to see, so many things to see that I gave up. And I, for example, I remember that I closed my eyes and I went up to the Sistine Chapel because I said I cannot watch or I cannot, yes, uh, look at any more works of art. Also in Madrid, in the Museum of Prado or Prado Museum, again, so many wonderful things to see. And I couldn't, uh, it's too, too many things to see at the same time. So I would like to, mm, I would like to look at the Sistine Chapel's uh, ceiling. So jump in there and stay there for an hour, two hours and then come back. And then another day I would go and see something else. Uh, the same with, mm, I would like to, can you imagine travel without the problems that travel bring? I wouldn't need to go to an hotel. I wouldn't need to to carry luggage. I would just go, hmm, I would like to go to a beach in the Caribbean islands or whatever and spend the day there. Oh, that would be so great. When I was a kid, there was a TV series, which was Tomorrow's People. I loved that series, mainly because the characters that had special powers could do that, could... Be, they were able to jump in space wherever they wanted. So, uh, by day, you're a mild-mannered Clark Kent. What do you do when you aren't being a bookish superhero? So I am a secondary school teacher, uh, which sometimes can be quite heroic, but I, I love it. Mwahaha, name your favorite bookish villain. I had some problems here. I tried to think of villains and perhaps Either I, I don't recall them or I don't um, read many books with supervillains. I don't know. Uh, so I, I thought of the books I like 
a lot and um, Jane Austen for example I like her books a lot and she doesn't have one villains, villain which I like is Mrs. E from Emma uh, she is the Mr. Elton's wife uh, from Pride and Prejudice for example Mr. Collins he's quite a character then I, I, I start thinking about other things that I read like the Shakespearean plays and I remembered uh, Iago from Othello but I think that he's a villain yes but because Othello and Desdemona are quite stupid so they deserve everything that happens to them because of the way they behave and so I think they deserve Iago Defenders of the Earth Unite, which bookish superhero would you collaborate with? So, the other day, uh, exchanging comments with Tristan from Tristan and the Classics, we decided that we would form a bookish super duo, okay? Um, to combat crime, like, for example, awkward book covers and things like that. And number seven, tag others. Be sure to share your superpower tag with at least one small booktuber. And today, I'm going to be brave, as Ross from Skydan Link About the Book says, and I'm going to uh, tag MH Books, which is a booktuber I found recently and am enjoying her videos. So, MH Books, you're tagged. And that's all for today. I have some other tags to answer, but I will come back another Tuesday to do one more Tag Tuesday. Until then, bye.